Hey Food Slayers, it's Michelle here from foodslaying.com and I'm making a short video today um, because I interviewed Marjorie Wildcraft and if you don't know who she is, make sure you head over to foodslaying.com and listen to that podcast because she's an incredible woman. She teaches people how to grow their own food. She's been in homesteading for a long time and you know, one of the things that she says is that it's never too late to start growing your own food. And even if you only grow half, she has a course on how to do that. And so even if you live in a city and you don't live in, you know, the suburbs or out in the country, and you don't have a piece of land, you can still grow your own food. You can still be self-sufficient. And if you haven't learned anything from two seasons of the Food, Sa food Slaying podcast, then, you know, one of the things that is really recurring in the podcast is that, you know, our food supply chain and the food that we have access to in the grocery store and even through many of the other uh, retail channels that our food is coming to us is that it is contaminated, it is toxic, it is often sprayed, especially if you're not eating organic. I mean, even if you are eating organic, sometimes there are pesticides and herbicides that are contained in the foods. So, you know, it's really important if clean food and clean ingredients and clean eating is important to you, then you'll want to learn and start. It's never too late to start growing your own food, even if it's just some herbs in your windowsill because you live in a, in a high-rise apartment building, or if it's a couple of potted tomato and pepper plants on your deck, or if it's just a, you know, a big pot of potatoes even. Potatoes are so easy to grow and, you know, you can start growing your own food. And she's got a couple of courses that you can check out on foodslain.com forward slash wildcraft. And one of the things that she talks about in the interview, and we got to talking about medicinal herbs, because I've been interested in med growing medicinal herbs and using medicinal herbs. In fact, uh, 20 years ago, I was using an herb called mullein leaf and if you look right here behind me this is mullein and this was a volunteer in my garden and right now I have about 16 of these plants and you can see they're like nine ten feet tall and so they just volunteer themselves and one of the things that Marjorie says in the interview is she talks about how when things show up in your garden oftentimes they're things that you need in your life or you need in your body or in your medicine cabinet and so this is one of them she talks she also talks about garlic and and how you can just start with growing garlic but she teaches this course called home medicine 101 and she's made a special offer that I'm able to offer to you but you have to go to foodslaying.com forward slash wildcraft and check it out. And it is a home medicine course and it teaches you how to use medicinal herbs. And one of the great things about growing your own medicinal herbs is that a lot of medicinal herbs, they often come from, you know, faraway places or they're not grown without pesticides and using chemical fertilizers and things like that. And many of them are also irradiated if they're coming, if they're being imported, right? So if they're coming from Eastern Europe or anywhere in Europe or anywhere outside of the United States, they're irradiated. And you definitely don't want that in your home medicine. So make sure you check out the podcast with Marjorie Wildcraft at foodslain.com. And you can check out her course, Home Medicine 101, on foodslain.com forward slash wildcraft right now there is a special deal for my listeners and I'm super excited to be able to offer that to you and you know if there's going to be a toilet paper shortage one of the things that's great about mullein leaf is it's so soft I don't know if you can see the fuzzy leaves but it's called nature's toilet paper so if there's another toilet paper shortage guess what I'll be all right and it's great to, to feel self-sufficient and rely on you know the stuff that you can grow in your backyard especially right now especially as the economy is very challenged you know a lot of people are on unemployment a lot of us are just you know just trying to figure it out right now so it's never too late to grow your own food even if you just grow a little bit so head on over to foodslaying.com and 
listen to the interview with me and Marjorie, and I appreciate your listening support. And if you're interested in Home Medicine 101, I am. I'm actually taking her, um, her medicinal course on the GROW Network, and I'm super excited to be taking that class because I've always wanted to learn how to make tinctures and salves and things like that, and I had to, I've, I've dabbled you know, in the past, but now I'm going to learn how to do it because I want to be able to have, you know, natural remedies in my medicine cabinet when I need them. So thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it if you subscribe and click the notifications bell so that you know when I release a video and I usually release videos with my podcast episodes and check out season three coming in a couple of weeks. It's going to be a really fun season. I really appreciate your listening support, and remember to eat clean, eat healthy, and love your food, and I'll see you on the other side of the plate. Ciao.